Morning, welcome to our last morning prayer in this season of Thy Kingdom Come, where we've been going since uh, Ascension last Thursday, all the way through now till Pentecost tomorrow. I hope it's been an enjoyable time and you've uh, drawn closer to God in perhaps through hearing the scriptures and through hearing those words of liturgy just embed deep in our hearts. So for this final morning, we pray together. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us, and clothe us with power from on high. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Creator God, to you be praise and glory forever. As your Spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation, pour out your Spirit on us today, that we may walk as children of light, and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. So the night has passed and this day lies open before us. So let's pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So our final psalm is Psalm 43. So let me read that to you. Vindicate me, my God, and plead my cause against an unfaithful nation. Rescue me from those who are deceitful and wicked. You are my God, my stronghold. Why have you rejected me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? Send me your light and your faithful care. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my joy and my delight. I will praise you with the lyre, O God, my God. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen indeed. So the words of our canticle. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries. I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness. A new heart I will give you. Put a new spirit within you. I will remove from your body that heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. You shall be my people and I will be your God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. So our reading today is from the New Testament. Uh, it's from Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 20. It's one of my favourite uh, pieces of scripture, and I'm sure it's fairly well known to those of you that know parts of the Bible. But some really good words for us today. Not that the others haven't been good, but some different words for us. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armour of God, so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authority, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore put on the full armour of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled round your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. And in addition to this, take the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the ex uh, flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, with which is the word of God. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions, with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert. And always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me, that whenever I speak, words may be given me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an, I am an ambassador in chains. 
Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. Oh man, it's the Apostle Paul speaking to the church at Ephesus. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. Renew the face of your creation, Lord, pouring on us the gifts of your Spirit and kindle in us the fire of your love. For the creation waits with eager longing for the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. Christ has gone up on high and has led captivity captive. Alleluia. The words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has come to set his people free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Christ has gone up on high, and has led the captivity captive. Alleluia. So on this final Saturday, we pray for everything that we've been doing together, really, but continue to pray those same prayers, asking God to be with us each and every day, asking God to be sovereign Lord over all of the world and recognising that God is Lord of the church, his people. So let's pray that prayer, not forgetting, of course, those five names or families that we've been praying for this week. Let's pray. Loving Father, we thank you for the opportunity to gather together even though we might be virtually separated. Lord, may our prayers, may our understanding of Scripture and may your Holy Spirit draw us close together. So Lord, we pray for today, the things that lay ahead, the tasks that need to be done, things that we want to do and the things that we really don't want to do but need to be done. For those who will perhaps serve us and for those we will serve. For the tasks that maybe we will put off and the others that we will take on. Lord be with us, we pray. And we pray for our world in its continued troubled state. Lord, we pray that you would bring peace and hope to many. That you would bring healing we continue to pray for the key workers around the world and in our nation, for those working within the NHS, within care homes, and for the other key workers that continue to serve us with um, getting food to the right place, the workers in the supermarkets, the bin collections, the post. Lord, would you be with them, we pray. And we pray for your church that your church will continue to pray and boldly proclaim that you are Lord and life. And with that, Father, we pray for the Holy Spirit to be upon the hearts and minds of those people on our list, that they may know their heart's desire in you. Lord, we long for them to know you. Lord, would you surprise us? Would you work a miracle, we pray. 
Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let me pray this collect for us. Almighty God, your ascended Son has sent us into the world to preach the good news of your kingdom. Inspire us with your spirit and fill our hearts with the fire of your love, that all who hear your word may be drawn to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So as we bring all those prayers together, we bring them in and through the one who taught us to pray, through the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining with us over these last uh, 10 days or so of Thy Kingdom Come. My prayer is that for each of you, if you've named men and women on your list, or even if you haven't, I'm sure there are people within your orbit where you would love them to know Jesus. My prayer is that they will. But we recognise as well that this is God's timing, not ours. We also recognise that God does not force himself upon people. People need to be open to hear. So I pray that you will be encouraged to keep praying for them at this time. Thank you for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed these and the evening prayers. I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow in our great service of Pentecost. Bless you. So may the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Have a good day. Have a great uh, time today doing the things that God wants you to be doing. And may you be blessed at this time. In Jesus' name. Amen.